Hi everyone, my name is Aaron Conway. I'm a assistant professor at the Faculty of Nursing at the University of Toronto. Um, I'm really um, pleased to be able to participate in this conference and really looking forward to viewing all of your presentations. Um, today I wanted to present to you um, just the, the way that I've used uh, the Flexable package to create kind of some graphical um, study characteristic summary tables for the last couple of systematic re reviews that I've done. Um, so the code is available to view and use here if you want to. Um, and so I'll just uh, show you what I've done. So first of all, I suppose the, the reason that I use the flex table package in particular in comparison to any one of the very many others that there are, is that it pairs really well with this office down package, um, which then you can use so you can include your table just in that one R markdown document, source document, um, that's going to be your reproducible manuscript um, because you can use this office down package to kind of um, change the landscape because obviously with tables a lot of the time you have to, you know, use a more horizontal landscape um, format um, rather than the vertical um, and various other things like that. So Flextable paired really well with this office down package. Um, and you can still kind of include some graphical sorts of images uh, within your table to display the data better. So um, these are the package that we needed to use. We'll just draw in some data. And then um, this first chunk was just some data preparation kind of stuff to get your table into, to start off with in this text format that includes all the kind of typical characteristics that you would include in a, in a normal summary study characteristics table of a systematic review. So things like age, um, author details, the country, um, some details about the characteristics of the participants, like age, sex. Um, I do clinical research, so we typically include some details about where the study was conducted, so what clinical setting. Um, and this systematic review in particular um, was about the accuracy and precision of a type of um, uh, blood pressure measurement device. Um, so we included the device type, where the measurements were taken, um, and uh, information about the number of participants, and the number of measurements that were um, compared in this study. Um, and so basically this table, you know, we just use the flex table package to kind of replace some of this text with graphical images to um, make it a little bit more interesting. So the first thing um, that the flex table package allows you to do is kind of replace some uh, numbers with these kind of bar columns with this um, uh, function called minibar. And so essentially, we, I used it to um, show the comparisons of like um, sex, so female versus male, um, by putting one of the colors, um, you know, as more of a bluey color and the other one as a pink. Um, and so we've basically just replaced that, um, the percentage there with a color um, for the foreground and the background. Um, and then another cool thing about the um, Flextail table package is you can use the function as image to just put in any type of image to um, into a particular cell to replace a cell. And I use that in um, with the flag on flags package to replace the countries with a flag. So um, that's particularly useful in this circumstance because um, just having a little picture of a flag to replace like long country names gives you an bit of extra horizontal space for the table, which is um, handy to have when you're needing to you know, knit to like a, a Word document rather than HTML or something. So that was a handy feature of the, the flex table package that was useful in this context. Um, the next part of it was I wanted to replace uh, some of the, the numbers for the, for the number of participants and the number of measurements in each study so that you can, the reader can more easily kind of pick out which studies you know, were the largest that included the, or particularly small studies. Um, and so we used from the flex table package this, uh, for the participants, we used the mini bar um, function to create these bars again. And for the measurements, it's like this lollipop measure. Um, and it's actually got, so it's got like a, a bit of white, um, like a white bar and then a purple um, little dot on the end to make the lo lollipop bar charts. 
Um, we'll replace the background a little bit later to make the, the white kind of stand out a bit more. And then we, there are some functions within um, the flex table package to kind of merge redundant content between um, columns or rows. So we've done that with the year here, and then we've merged some redundant content from some of the rows where we've got duplicated content from different studies um, for here. And then we've got some additional styling. Like I was saying, you can replace some of the background uh, color of the cells um, to kind of make um, those lollipop charts stand out a bit more and also replace some of the column headings. Um, and then we can move through to another kind of feature was you can just, as I was saying before, you can add in any sorts of images and we just added an image into this uh, column header to explain kind of the legend of um, the, the gender or the, the sex um, column. Uh, so that's kind of the, the functions within the flex table package that I use. But it, again, it was really the fact that flex table really pairs well with this office down package. Um, and you can use um, these kind of comments, block comments from the office down package to enable like a landscape view just for um, the pages where you want to display these tables in the, the landscape format. Um, so that when you knit your table, it'll produce the document um, in the landscape format. So that's where it ends up looking like. Um, so just basically a way to kind of re replace text that you would usually include in a systematic review summary characteristics table with some images to display um, the information in a more visually appealing way. Uh, thanks again for uh, listening and looking forward to viewing everyone else's presentations. Thanks very much.